All right, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to introduce the Mudstar 200. This is supplied by both Batassi and Apollo, you, you guys. Check these out. It has the huge fat tires, the 1978s all the way around. This is a full-size mini bike. It's about approximately 6.5 horsepower. They call it the Mudstar 200. Now you got the competition out there. You got like uh, Coleman has something similar to that. Tau Motors does as well, Trailmaster. But you know what? These are actually quite unique relative to the other mini bikes, you guys. Now check out the dual shocks in the back. This is one of the big differences as well. So you can see they have the dual shocks, drum brakes in the back as well here. Nice, comfortable, soft seat here on uh, the Mudstar. I mean, this is great. This is a full size, 28.5 inch seat height. Now, when I give that measurement out, you guys, that is uh, from the manufacturer as well as I do measurement myself as well, my measuring tape. So that's from the ground here up to the, about the center, 28.5 inches. It's a full size, has a front headlight that comes on while the engine's running. It is a pull start, four stroke. Really nice looking, well made. I'm really impressed with the Mudstar. Again, I did sell, I do sell the Trailmaster as well as the uh, the DB200 from Tau Motors. You got the Coleman as well. I've had a couple of the Coleman's in here for service. I actually like these. They have the drum brakes. It has it's chain driven. Now on some of the websites it does say CVT, but it's not a CVT belt drive. It's chain driven. We're gonna pull off the cover here on the black one so you guys can see. Tyson's here to help me today. Hey Tyson. Hey there. So he's going to pull off that cover so you guys can see what the drive is all about. It does have the, the dual rear, sh rear shocks as well as the front shocks, unlike the other brands do. These are great value. Check out uh, these. These are listed under the dirt bike category on ScooterATVSales.com. Again, he's going to pull off the cover. Now you can see the drive system over here, how it's done. Now I don't think anybody yet, yet has done this, so you guys can see the, the clutch over here in the front. This is the frontal uh, drive here. So you have this system over here. And then you have the rear. It takes it to the rear sprocket as well. This is a, these are your adjustments over here to adjust your uh, chain. But this is really nice. This is very heavy duty. You got your tensioner over here on the side. So uh, basic uh, parts, you guys, you could buy these parts on Amazon or anywhere else. Uh, Harbor Freight is another place you can locate the parts. This is your gas tank here as well. So we did take that off. We just wanted to show you what the mechanics look like here, the drive system here on this. Again, it's not CVT driven. It's chain driven, chain drive. Has the kickstand, foot pegs over here as well. 28.5 inch seat height has the rear fenders. And then the front fender as well. We got the red, black. It comes also in the blue, blue color. Check out my website, scooteratvsales.com. These are huge value. These two are available currently at our reno nevada shop ready for sale great value come down and check these out you guys a lot of fun the old school mini bikes pool start all right tyson let's go over all the features here on the handlebar all righty well right up here we got our uh, got our uh, rear brake and then there's a kill switch up up on the uh, handlebars here okay so this is the kill switch here mm -hmm. all right and this is the rear brake rear brake and then right. your throttle of course the throttle okay and then let's see here down here we got the gas the gas tank here yeah the gas tank holds one gallon okay uh this is your fuel uh fuel shutoff switch so to turn the fuel on you just flip that over there this is your choke so it turns the choke on you turn it the opposite direction okay uh this little lever right here is just attached to your throttle up okay. here so you can see that moves all right so what does this top one do again uh the top one here is the choke okay so the position it's at now what is it, is uh, it on? this is choked yeah okay so it's choked all right so we turn it off mm -hmm. all right that's be uh pushing it this way all mm -hmm. right so that's off you guys mm -hmm. and then this one here is their fuel on mm -hmm. and then fuel off so show where's fuel off on it uh fuel off is this direction okay and then fuel on is fuel on is this way all right and then what is this right here that's your pull cord that is pull the start. pull card. Okay. And then what is this here? This red? Oh, this right here? This is another kill switch. This is the one that comes built into the motor. Okay. So that's always staying on. You can mm -hmm. use it to kill the motor as well? You can, yep. So if the switch on the top of the handlebar is not working, 
you can use that, correct? Well, and, yeah, both of these have to be on in order. For okay, so this has to be on, and then and then the switch on the top of the handlebar here correct. has to be on for the engine to start. Mm -hmm. What is this up here? Oh, this is your uh, your air box, your air filters right in, right under this cover. All right, and we got the drum brakes in the back here. I see mm -hmm. it, there's an adjustment screw right here to adjust the uh, drum brakes. So you have a single brake in the rear, which is operated by the hand right over here. You can see the cable going down to that area here. Then we got the headlight. How does the headlight work? Headlight just comes on with the motor. All right, fair enough. So fat, the motor's running the headlights on. Fat tires, and then we got the front shocks as well. So it gives it a smooth ride. You've driven this uh, already, right? Oh yeah. So it's pretty decent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a what, lot of fun. How, how would you compare it to that Coleman that we had in here? Uh, this definitely rides a lot better. Okay. The, the, uh, uh, the, uh, having the shocks on the rear really does make a big difference. All right, so that's important you guys to know. Now, now Tyson, you know, he's uh, the lead tech over here. So uh, he does service on these, and this is just straight from uh, what he's experienced based on the different uh, mini bikes. These are all come from China, you guys, so keep that in mind. All right, so we took the cover off this one. We're going to take this one right here for a test drive. Let's uh, show what this is here. Yeah, you've got a little glove box here that just pops up. And you got more, a little bit of storage in there. Well, look at that, you guys. So again, this is all hard plastic, you guys. Or is this metal here? It's well, all plastic. Okay, it's all plastic. All you do is you pull this up, and you got some storage under there. Pretty neat, pretty neat. We like that over here. And you got a little area right here to lift mm -hmm. as well. And I uh, got the pull start. So why don't we give this a start, and we'll take it for a, a short ride. I love those fat tires. Definitely great for the mud, and the dirt. Give you a much smoother ride. And we'll see how Tyson does this. When that light comes on here, I can see it shining right now, the headlight. So it's uh, it operates straight from? Uh, straight off the motor. Straight off the motor. Yep. Okay, go ahead. If you guys need some more spec information, that's on the website. Look at all the power and torque that has. Definitely perfect for a full-size adult use your discretion at home for the kids but a lot of power a lot of torque and look how bright that is that headlight look at that Whoa. chain driven you got those fat 1978 tires on there a lot of fun as you can see what do you what do you think of that braking power? The stopping power is pretty decent. Brakes work, they work really well for drum brakes. And the torque was uh, pretty decent too. Oh, it's very torquey. Yeah, this is uh, rated up to about uh, about 220, 250 pounds. You guys check out the specs on the uh, the website scooteratbsales.com. So, did want to introduce this to uh, you guys out there. They're a lot of fun, really cool looking, great value. Check out the pricing online. I could drop ship these to you direct. There's not much assembly to them. They do get drop shipped in the box. Assembly instructions are not included. These are ready to go, tested in tune. You can ride them in minutes. We go over them. We cross the T's and dot the I's on all our products over here, all our vehicles. So they're all tested in tune and ready to go. This is, again, just supplied by both Apollo and Vitassi. I could drop ship these to you direct. Always call me before ordering so I can confirm availability and color choices. It comes in that red, black, as well as a blue color. So, hey, Tyson, thank you for uh, demonstrating uh, all the different working features on these. If you guys are looking for some universal parts, it's ScooterATVParts.com. And you'll always find me on Instagram at ScooterATVSales. And if you guys are looking for one of these, these are available right now for sale at our local Northern Nevada shop. Hope all is well and you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like these type of videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, send us uh, your response. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.